big welcome back to the Ron Williams YouTube channel. Um, again, we're finishing up. This is the third one on macronutrients. As you know, we're doing fatty acids and fats. We did carbohydrates, then we did proteins. Now we're doing the fats. Okay, as we go through these, I want you to look at it really, really close and determine what you would put in your body and why. Think about it, what you would put in your body and why. Okay, so as we look at these, we start off with the avocado. This is an essential fatty acid. It is very, very healthy. And it, you've heard this saying before, if you haven't, today will be a, a first for you. It takes fat to lose fat. It takes fat to lose fat. But the fats that we're talking about are the essential fatty acids. Now this is a long chain of fats, but this fat is very, very active. And as it goes through the system, it actually attaches to the saturated fat, helps to pull that out of your system. Um, the essential fatty acids are good for your heart. They're good for uh, your, your joints. I mean, and, and, and they're essential. That word essential means you have to take it from without. Your body does not produce essential fatty acids. So you have to ingest the essential fatty acid. So the avocado is a good form of the essential fatty acid. Great. So we look at that. Now we look at hemp. Now this um, hemp seed, the closer to nature as you can get a product the better off it is. Now the hemp seed, this right here is hemp seed powder. So because it's a powder, it's been quite processed. As you can see in the little window right here, it's been quite processed. So with this, um, as you look on the back, it says eight grams of fat, five grams of protein, zero grams of sugar. So it is mostly fat. This would also be an essential fatty acid but some people use it as a protein, especially those that are vegan or vegetarian. It's hard to find good sources of protein, so hemp seed would be one choice to get uh, a little extra protein in with your fatty acids. So we have these two. Let's look at this. This is olive oil. Olive oil is, um, is a good oil, but olive oil, like any other oils, are affected by light, heat, and air. Now, olive oil is more tolerant than most oils. It's considered uh, an essential fatty acid, but it does, it is affected. It absolutely is affected by light, heat, and air. So you don't want to cook in it. I never ever cook in oils because no matter how tough that oil is, when you add heat to it, when you add air to it long enough, it absolutely will affect that oil. So in order to keep all of the, the nutritional value and the defatting values, I want to make sure that I don't heat my oils. In California, a couple years back, they passed a law that after you cook french fries in the deep fryer, you had to get rid of the oil because the heat destroyed the oil and it turned it into a trans fatty acid. In other words, it transformed into something that was completely unhealthy for you. And they cooked it over and over and over and over and over. And when you were driving down the interstate, you could actually smell the oil from some of the restaurants um, that was rancid because of the, the heat and they didn't throw it out uh, as often as they should have. I don't cook with oil at all. We look at the Mazzola oil. Now corn oil, corn oil, this would not be a very healthy oil to put in your body because it is made from corn and uh, it wasn't intended to be an oil. It was intended to be Mazzola or corn. Uh, I don't know if you knew that, but that's what Mazzola means. It means corn. Now this oil is basically used to cook in. Guess what happens? When you cook in this, you transform the fat. It's not as tolerant, it's not as resistant. It becomes a trans fatty acid. Not good. So this would be something you would leave on the shelf. And as you see here, it says heart healthy. So don't let that fool you. If you have this, get rid of it. 
don't cook in this. If you can cook in this, the same thing you're cooking in this, you can cook in water. You've seen me do it. So don't do this. Now the raw almonds. Absolutely, it has protein, fat, and carbohydrates in it, but definitely essential fatty acids are in the raw almonds. You have your saturated fats, you have your um, unsaturated fats, and this is highly filled with your unsaturated fats. What, what saturated fats means is that it's solid at room temperature, becomes solid at room temperature, just like the marbling fat that you'll find on your meat. And it doesn't have the long bonds, uh, it doesn't have the long bonds, and that essential fatty acid is something that can't be produced by the body. It has to be ingested from without. So it's really important that you get those essential fatty acids for health, for life, longevity, and also um, it has those long bonds that go in and it attaches to the saturated fat to pull it right out of the system. Peanut butter. When you find peanut butter, the scary thing about this is when you find almond butter, peanut butter, those types of things, you want to make sure that those peanuts are not roasted peanuts. So if you have roasted almonds, you've heated those almonds and you've destroyed some of the properties in those almonds. So what you want to do is get raw almond butter. Very, very healthy, very, very good for you. But once they roast it, then you've destroyed some of the qualities of those almonds and the essential fatty acids. Peanuts, we've talked about these in the last video. And again, these are roasted peanuts. This, would be, this wouldn't be something that you would want to ingest for, your, for health purposes. Some of you eat peanuts just because you like peanuts, and I'm not saying that's good or bad, but it would not be considered an essential fatty acid to have roasted peanuts. So, with all of that being said, we've looked at the essential fatty acids, and as we've looked at them, we've found out some things we absolutely would eat. Those would be my top three, right there. So if you're looking for an essential fatty acid, these would be the top three of this group. There's some other oils that I love. The wheat germ oil, one of the best. It's the one that I eat on a daily basis. The other is the avocado oil. Love avocado oil. So guys, listen, I hope you like this video. Hope we got a good understanding between the three videos. God bless you, until next time, Give me a thumbs up.